enter. Now, it says here, type escape sequence to board. Now, escape sequence is control, shift, six, control, shift, six, together. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm pressing control, then shift, then six. There you go. That's how board it is. Otherwise, you would have to wait here 30 things on uh, not very good, very slow. The last one is Control C. Exit the current configuration or force the current command. So, for example, if you are in that wizard that I was saying earlier and you are not happy with it, you can press Control C to get off from that wizard. Here are some show commands show version, show flash, show interfaces. You're gonna become more familiar with most of the show commands because hey, we need to, if we're troubleshooting something, we need to know our show commands. Or, if you don't remember your show commands, press show, type show, space, and then the question mark. And we can look what, what is available out there. One of them, for example, is version, show version. With this, we can tell what router is it, what type of the router do we have, what is the operating system. So, let's see, here we go. That's the operating system that we're using on the flash. C1841 and uh, the type and the model of the R router C1841 how much memory we have and what's our process uh, what's our interfaces so two fast Ethernet interface it's the default and how much NV RAM we have and how much uh, flash we have one more very important is this configuration register okay this will tell the router what to do what's the next step when in booting process okay excellent show version here we go that's uh, the command from here we can tell uh, what version of uh, operating system we have uh, what uh, device model and type and number how long has been out that's a good to, to know and then interface uh, what in type of interfaces how much memory how much flash and the revision number okay so in here we're gonna um, make a, like a small network very small network um, I'm just gonna okay let's make these two routers, two switches so we can make switch and router these basic startup commands are exactly the same now what I'm gonna do go in the packet tracer uh, let's go packet tracer we're gonna get rid of this laptop this you will use it in the real life you can't just click on it on the packet tracer yeah we can just click on it and boom we have a uh, routers uh, command prompt or CLI okay so I'm gonna bring a switch as well I'm gonna connect this switch with the router so I'm gonna cross a uh, straight through cable so fast Ethernet 0, 0 on the router fast Ethernet 0, 1 on the switch and on that switch I'm gonna connect one PC Okay, I'm gonna connect the PC with the switch. Straight through again, fast Ethernet 02 and the PC. Okay, now here, just to know there was fast Ethernet 00. The switch, nah, it's not we're not that much concerned, but fast Ethernet 01 on this side, and on this side was fast Ethernet 02, and the switch the PC has a fast Ethernet. Now you can see that this interface is red. It's not working. The reason is the interfaces on the router are off by default. The interfaces on the switch are on by default. So you can see this interface on the switch is on. Not the router and uh, sorry, the switch on the PC it's on. It's working. Now the router has it's off. So that's why it's red. When we switch that interface on, it's going to go green. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some startup configuration. So I'm gonna uh, start, to get my notepad again. Where's my notepad? Uh, no, this one. Here we go, that's one. Okay, but I want to just keep it like this so we can see it. First configuration I'm going to do is called it's enable. I'm going to move from the user mode 
to the privilege mode. Then I'm going to do is go to global configuration mode. Configure terminal. Now this is a global configuration mode. Now I put this uh, exclamation marks here. Help me as, a, as I'm configuring this router. It's like a, a, a makes sense of what section of the router I'm configuring is like separation of commands. You don't have to do it. The router doesn't need it, but it's good for you and for me. It makes sense the commands. So here, all the commands I'm going to do are global configuration commands. So first of all, hostname, hostname, London. Excellent. Now we want to give a password. If somebody types enable, we want them to be challenged with the password. So first, pass first is enable password Cisco. Now, when you configure, when you are uh, configuring or learning this Cisco, CCNA, CCMP, Cisco, it recommends to use Cisco and class. Two passwords that you will always use, Cisco and class. So first is enable password. When somebody types enable, they're going to be challenged with the password Cisco. Now, this password is clear text, and Cisco has replaced it with a more encrypted version, which is MD5 encrypted password. Now, that one is same it does the same job but it's encrypted so enable secret class now this password is is a clear text this password is encrypted version so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type these commands as I'm going through so let me just bring it to my router okay so first is enable Okay, we were already so let me go disable user mode you get here type enable go to the privilege mode once we're in privilege mode we type configure terminal once we're in that global configuration mode we can change the name hostname london london there we go okay now we want them when they type this enable, you see, we didn't we didn't see any problems. We can just go in straight away the global configuration one. But no, we want people to be challenged once they type the enable. So we have to enable uh, password Cisco and or exit and disable. Okay, now I'm in user mode. When I type enable now, it's gonna should be should challenge me for password. There we go. Now you're asking about the password. Now the password they want to know is this Cisco. So I type Cisco. You can see when I'm typing the password, there's no characters displaying as a security enhancement. So okay, so I type Cisco. I'm in the privilege mode. Excellent. Now I go to config T. Config T is a shortcut con for configure terminal. So if I type enable secret now before I do that I go to end and all the configuration I'm doing now it's called a running configuration it's not startup it's not saved on the startup configuration so I can type show running config right so you can see this password that's the host name what's running in the moment we have a host name called London and the password we have a Cisco but it's a clear text so I'm gonna go to config T and then enable secret class now because we taped enable secret class this password is going to take precedence it has a more priority than the old password it's an encrypted version and it will always get used so if I type end and disable I'm in the user mode when I type enable I have to type this password not this it's not going to work so if I type enable the password that I'm typing is class, so C L A S S. I'm inside the router. If I go disable, try with the other passwords. So type enable. Now I'm typing Cisco. No, not working. Which means the class has overtaken the password Cisco. So password Cisco is doesn't get used anymore. It's there for some devices that can't support MD5, but pretty much now everything can support MD5, so secret will be there. So I need to type class. Okay, let's try again. Class, yeah, I'm inside, I'm in privilege mode. So show running config, 